All right, Andrew, go ahead and show them what we got. We got our exhaust leak fixed, and hopefully this thing will start up just touching the key. Let's see. exhaust down cut it off re-weld it up i had to fill a gap about that big in it but it, you know what it sealed up it's fine and i'm happy with it so there we go i just wanted to include this little bit of footage i know you guys have heard it run but this is with full exhaust now and it sounds really good we're gonna put some turn downs on it get a belt on it throttle cable works so we got that going earlier the only thing left is the clutch cable that's it should be able to drive it around yeah, plug it in. so here's our fuel pump for anybody wondering, this is a uh, 3S 11 volt lipo. And we're just gonna kind of wedge it in, in here like that. Lay it right there, and there we go. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to hold that good. All right. <laughs> there it is. First, yeah, hey, I'm going to be honest with you. It actually felt pretty damn good. I ain't going to lie to you. The car feels, feels like a car. I mean, there's a bunch of wires and stuff hanging down in there. But it feels like a car. <laughs> Nothing crazy, you know. I mean, kind of, I just didn't expect it to run that smooth. But the car is responsive with this carburetor that's on it, although it will be coming off. I'm extremely pleased with where we are with this thing. There's a lot of stuff left to be done, but at the same time, I'm happy. Um, so let me give you guys a quick rundown. What's left for this car? Uh, although you may be looking at it thinking, well, obviously paint, that's part of it. That's actually not part of it. We will do something probably wild with it or crazy. We may shoot some base coat over this thing and sand through the, the, the paint and kind of give like a, uh, I don't know, kind of a patina look to it, if you will, and put a satin clear over it. That will be temporary more than likely. At some point, we probably will paint this car maybe. We'll see. But that's not what I'm talking about. What's left to do is actually all the wiring for the back half of the car. So we have all the dash wiring done for the car, but we still have to run the body harness back. So we got to go over to Blakely. We got to get the old convertible once again to give up some parts for us, and I think that'll do it. But that'll allow us to put our brand new tail lights in that we got for the car. Don't worry about that, guys. All that'll be covered up. We'll put some chassis saver on it. Um, don't mind that rust hole right there. That's what we want. We like it. We'll fix that eventually. Oh, they hadn't seen the um, hadn't seen the seat. So obviously we have a seat in the car now. It's a wreck, but the point is. We do have some interior in this thing. What's left on the car right now are rear brakes. The front brakes are good, but the rear brakes um, don't have any brake shoes or anything in the, I think the passenger side rear of the car. So we're gonna put some uh, rear brake shoes in here, completely rebuild those. I didn't wanna put any brake fluid in it right now to even get the front brakes to work because I'm scared it might shoot out the rear. We don't know what's gonna happen there. All right, so let's look at under the hood real quick again. I, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. 
It looks good. John, what do you think? It's come a long way in a short period of time. So, John has helped me out tons on this thing, and man, I think this this is huge for us, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Um, just being meticulous what we're doing and going doing it thoroughly, man, it's been fun. Yeah, it has. And Not that's, in a rush. John's got a point because we did not rush this. Although it may look like it, we literally took our time with this car. Got our clutch cable on today. It's adjusted out. Shout out to Hanlon for all that stuff. So we'll put our carburetor on here and um, then we'll get our brakes working. We'll tidy up some of the wiring on the inside of the car and then we'll just go from there. New headlights and all that type stuff. Show them, John. <laughs> look at that. So. To you guys, it may probably still look raggedy. Oh, it's still the same old red and stuff. Yeah, but man, stance and wheels change everything. And also fitment. Look how those back wheels are just absolutely tucked to the max. Like, out, right? There's, there's, there's no gap in there. They're all the way out to the fender lip. Anyway, um, we are going to put all new trim. So this is something that I've not really covered yet. We're going to put all new trim on this car, right? Body molding. We're going to do all the uh, new trim around the windows, around everything, right? I want all the trim and the headlights and taillights, um, door handles, mirrors, cowl. I want all this stuff brand new, looking good, painted black, right? That's how I want it to look with some <laughs> ratty-ass paint for now. And we may leave this car like this. I'm not sure. But also something else that I want to remind you guys of is you once you put your mind to something, you can do anything that you want to do. I'm just some dude that you know came from south georgia and we decided that you know what we wanted to share our love for fox bodies with the world and that's what we've done and i'm so pleased to be able to do that i'm happy to be able to do that but at the same time i want you guys to know that what we do all all of this that you see it's just regular people like i mean i'm talking like guys that work full-time jobs right and we come out here and we bust our ass because I don't know, we just have that mindset of, you know, I'll tell you a little secret. I don't say this very often. I've mentioned it a time or two on the channel. Something that I want you guys to know. Sometimes what I do is I make myself believe that nobody believes in me. I tell myself that nobody thinks I can do this. And that's what drives me to get out here and do the things that I do. Uh, whether you guys like my videos, like my content or not, I feel like I've proven myself. But for a lot of you, you need to get to that point in life and if it's got to do with cars, if it's got to do with your job or your family or whatever it is going on in your life, just believe that nobody believes in you and then go out there and prove them wrong. In the end, there's probably a lot of people that actually believe in you, you just don't know it yet. Now my intentions are to bring this car to Texas, but I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. I hope it does, but it may not. So we're gonna leave this car out here for a little while. We're gonna pull the carburetor off of it, put it back on the 65, cause Papa T, might be taking it back to your house at some point here soon so we got to have a carburetor so that means we need a new carburetor i told you guys we were going to buy a new one i know a lot of people have offered up a carburetor and i do appreciate it but guys i'm just going to be honest with you i can't use something i'm not going to put an elder brock like regular elder brock on this on this car or quadra jet or something like that right we got to have a good carburetor because very quickly things could change here we've got courtesy of anderson motorsports we've got a uh, n41 camshaft we could pick up a used set of you know heads to go on this car and we're going to need a good carburetor plus at some point this car will be sprayed it'll be a nitrous car and we're going to have to have us a good one so i don't want to take your parts from you and not use them all right y'all look i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up i'm going to take a couple cool little shots of the car i'll be sure to include those in the video and as always thanks for watching